Hello Jewellery Makers, this is Linda from Jewellery Maker. I hope you're all well and keeping safe in these uh, very strange times at the moment. But anyway, this is a first for me. I'm going to do effectively what is a, a YouTube video. I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful vintage lace work necklace using the new to JM gorgeous, stunning round duos. A round duo is a Czech glass bead. It's five millimeters and it has two holes in it and it looks very much like a pearl or a round bead when you use it in your jewelry making. Right, I'll just move this out of the way and we will begin. Right, to start with you need to take a very long length of wildfire, fire line, whatever is your chosen thread. Um, you can add if you want to um, as you go along, but it's better to work with the longest amount of thread that you possibly can. Now to start off, I am going to be using in this demo some size 11 seed beads and some of the beautiful round duos. You can see these gorgeous blue ones here. Um, now my necklace and within the specifics of the kit, you will have some beautiful size 11 seed beads um, i must admit i like the design in both but um, i am going to be using the size 8 just purely um, to make it hopefully a little bit easier for you to to see the demo at home All right to start off as i said this long length of wildfire and a size 10 needle or a size 12 whichever you prefer now i'm going to pop on a stopper bead so I'm going to pick up one of these size eights and then I'm going to take it right the way to the very end, all but about three or four inches of my thread. And then I am going to take my needle all the way around in a circle and take it back from the base up towards me to create a stopper bead. Now that bead will stay there and in the initial stages of making your um, necklace, or the bracelet, whichever you prefer, um, you'll find that the beads um, won't drop off. As you get uh, further along the design, you'll find that you get more purchase on it anyway. Um, but just leave that little um, stopper bead in place until the very end. And just in case I forget to tell you, it's just easily two fingers and slid off. Okay, so finger and thumb and slide off. Now, to start the design, I'm going to pick up 20 of my seed beads I think we have 11 12 18 19 20 now I'm going to let that drop back down to my stopper bead okay because we need a little bit of tension um not overlay we don't need it to be too tight but we need a little bit of tension on this design now i'm going to now pick up one of the beautiful round duos as i said before they have two parallel lines running through them um it doesn't really i mean it's a round so it doesn't have a specific side so it doesn't matter how or where you pick them up so i'm picking up now my round duo and sliding that back down to my seed beads. What I'm going to do now is pick up seven of my seeds. Four, five, six, seven. Now again, I'm going to let that drop to the side of my round duo. Now what I'm going to do now is I am going to count these last seven I've added here. I'm going to count four beads upwards. One, two, three, four. Now on that fourth bead, I'm going to take my needle in underneath the base of the bead so that it's now exiting the top of that fourth bead and pull the thread through. And then we've got a little pico here, so I'm just going to pull it, slide it along the thread. And as you can see there, now we've got that little pico, virtually what is the beginning of a ladder weave design there. That's just a little bit of definition um, 
on the design um, in order really to sort of designate a, a sort of a very vintage lace work look. Next step is to pick up three of your size 11s and another round duo. It might be worth a top tip, it might be worth um, when picking up the round duos, checking that both holes, the parallel holes in the round duo are, are clear. Very occasionally you might get one that's slightly blocked or hasn't gone all the way through. So just check that they are all clear um, whilst you're sort of going along with the design or certainly uh, prior to making the design, check probably 40 or 50 of the beads that they both have two holes that are clear. Right, so I've slipped on three of my seed beads and now and the round duo so now I'm going to put, pick up another three seed beads now if I lift the design now you can see if I push them together you can see where we're looking at going to raise this pattern okay now in order to do the pattern place it back down on your surface now these 20 beads that you have put on in the first place take your needle and count up four one two three four take your needle through the base of that fourth one but then continue to take the needle through the next bead and the next bead so effectively that's bead four five and six Take your needle through and then bring the thread through and then you will have the first part of your design. Now at this moment in time, it doesn't look that well structured, but the more you get on, the more uniformity you'll get to your design. Now, to do the next lattice work, we pick up 10 seed beads. and bring that back down to your design. Now, um, this is a really therapeutic um, piece of beading in as much as it is incredibly repetitive, um, but it's not boring in its repetitiveness, if that is a word. Um, as it grows, it just gets simply more beautiful, um, but you can really quite relax through the design. So I've threaded on 10, of the seed beads. Now the second hole of my round duo is, is on this side of the round duo. So what I'm going to do now is take my needle and go through that second hole there. Bring it through and pull the thread through. Now I am next going to put on three, sorry I'm going to put on seven seed beads. So I have my seven seed beads and then I'm going to just let that drop down the side of the round duo. Again this is where we're going into this repetition now which I find really really uh, therapeutic. So now we're going to count up four beads. One, two, three, four. Again we're going through the base of that fourth bead Taking the needle through and pulling the thread out. Then we get a little perch, a little bit of purchase on it. Give the design a little bit of. Um, you can keep on dragging. You slide beautifully up the wire fire or the fire line or whatever thread that you're using. Just pull them up together, and then the next step is again to pick up three seed beads, one of the lovely round duos another three of the seed beads. Again, let that drop down so that you don't miss a bead. If you don't let it drop down onto the surface, you might just find that a sneaky little bead will stay up closer to the needle. And um, 
you'll end up ruining your design. And trust me, trying to find where it's gone wrong is quite difficult. Although you know it's gone wrong, trying to find the point at which it went wrong, you'll be gazing at it for hours. So just check every time that your beads are down on the surface. And what we have to do now is to bring again, this part of the design has to come up in line with the previous round duo. So again, we count up on these 10 beads here, we count up four, <coughs> excuse me, one, two, three, four, and go through the base of the fourth, through the fifth, and through that sixth bead, and bring through. Then it's a matter of repetition. Again, 10 of your C beads, And let those drop down. Bring your thread through the second hole of the round duo and bring your thread through. Again, tighten up your design somewhat. Sorry about the wobbling of this. Um, and pull the design together. Pick up seven of your seeds and bring that down to the base of the round duo. Again, to get your little pico, we're counting up one, two, three, four, bobbing our needle through the base of that fourth bead and pulling our thread through. Again, a little bit of purchase on the, uh, on the thread and slide up. You can see the pattern now is starting to evolve. So it's now a matter of picking up our three of our seed beads, round duo, and three seed beads. Let those drop down. Pick up our three. And then again, the 10 seed beads in the loop here, we're going to count up one, two, three, four, and through the base of the fourth, through the fifth, and through the sixth, and pull through. Now, what you will be um, achieving is you will get to the point where you can start to check your design. This is... Um, exactly the same all the way through obviously a little bit of as you can see maneuvering and getting your tension this little part here is a little bit loose so again pick that up and slide it along if when you have done and i'll show you in a minute on a piece i've got a little bit further along with but if you have on the top of here four beads in that little curve one two three four one two three four you know your design is correct as as far as the amount of beads that you're using. So if I just take that to one side at the moment and bring in this one, which has got a little bit more work on it, um, you can see as the design progresses, it gets like a lovely natural curve. So it's perfect for a necklace. And again, we have four beads on the neckline of each particular lattice work. So you just progress along. So obviously our next step is our 10 seed beads coming through our round duo from the top, picking up seven, counting back to the base of our fourth bead, through the fourth bead, pick up three more seeds, pick up a round duo and three more seeds, and then coming up to the top here, counting up the four on these 10 seed beads that would be here, Counting at four, go through four, five and six, and that is the next little piece of lace work completed. When you get to the end of your design, you can see here, this is the very beginning part of it here, which is the where we put on our 20. We have used a few down here. And we have retained one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have that's the stopper bead, so we've actually retained 13 beads here from the original 20. 
So when you come to the end of your design, and I've done mine that's gone virtually all the way round to the clasp, it is a matter of getting to this point here. If you imagine that is the end of my necklace, all you have to do then to balance it is to thread on 13 more of your size 11s and then in the normal way using a jump ring, a crimp, crimp bead cover, attach your clasp in the normal way. I do hope you've been able to follow it because this is such a worthwhile um, design to make um, in as much as the fact that not only can you use the round duos in this design but any of these check glass beads that have two holes work beautifully. So you can make a um, series of designs using this exact pattern, but using the different um, two hole beads like gem duos, ginkos, zolly duos, paisleys, chilies, whatever you have happen to have, um, and just experiment and put them in. And then hopefully, like me, you'll agree it's quite a pretty design. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.